again and welcome back to Elements for Bloggers. I'm Jenny Elliott and in this video we'll learn about basic color correction of your photos. At the end of this video you'll be able to perform correction of color cast in normal photos and also in those with human skin tone. So let's get started. Alright, we're back here in the editor space and you'll see I've got a photo open from my organizer. That is a picture I took out the window of just some trees. And this was taken obviously in the winter and you'll notice here that as happens with a lot of photos taken when it's really overcast or shadowy, this whole photo has a blue tinge to it. So what we want to do today is to correct this, make our snow white and kind of brighten things up a little bit so it looks nicer. So the first thing I like to do whenever I first open up a photo is I want to go ahead and save a copy of this file. I like to keep a separate spot for my edited photos and then the originals in case I ever want to use the originals for something different in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just put this in on my desktop and we'll make this snow trees nice and descriptive. So you'll see at the top left that this is now the new copy of my image and I'm not editing the original anymore. So the first thing I'm going to do in the process of correcting this color cast is I'm going to go and make a duplicate of this background image, which is just the base layer we're working with here. I like to be able to go back once I've got all of my different corrections and edits done to my photo and maybe fine tune an earlier edit that I did. So all I'm going to do here is duplicate this by right clicking on the name of the layer. Here it says background and I will duplicate this layer. And now I'm going to add a title to this. I'll call this layer color correction. Give it a descriptive name so you know exactly what it is when you're looking over here in your layers panel. Now before you go making any edits to a layer you want to make sure that you have the proper layer selected. I don't want to be for example on the background layer when I'm making my edit because I want it to happen here to this color correction layer. So always always before you perform any kind of function make sure your proper layer is selected. So the fix here is going to be a relatively simple one. I'm going to go up here to the bar and go to enhance, adjust color, and then remove color cast. It's the top option there. And this is a little dialog box that pops up. I'm just going to move it off so we can see what we're doing. And it's going to tell you exactly how to use this tool. Make sure that preview is checked here because you want to be able to see what you're doing as it's happening. And you'll notice that the tip of your cursor has changed to a little eyedropper tool. Now here it tells you that you need to click something that should be either gray, white, or black. And I have always personally gotten the best results out of doing a gray area, which is fine because there's not a whole lot of black in this photo anyway. So I will kind of come over here and all I'm doing is clicking around in various parts of the picture. And we're trying to achieve, um, you'll see that, okay, here I clicked on this spot and it gave it kind of a pink cast to it. So all you're going to do is click various places on the image until you get a result that you like. And we'll be able to fine tune this later where the, whoop, there we go. We definitely don't want that one. Um, just click until you find a place that has nice color, um, like where my whites are going to be nice and bright for me. And I'm going to say that looks pretty good. I'll go back up to preview and turn it off so you can see the original one. Okay, there's with the blue overcast, my original picture, turning back on preview, there we go. So I have removed the blue color cast and now everything is nice in different shades of white and gray. I'm going to just say okay because I like that and that's it, now it's done. And once I've exited the remove color cast dialog that I had up here and pushed okay, I can always turn on and off this little visibility icon over this layer so I can see exactly what happened. And you'll see that once again, here's the original, very blue, and here's the whitened version. So now I'm ready to proceed with adjusting brightness and that sort of thing. And we'll get to that in the next lesson. But I wanted to bring up a special case, which is when you have people in a picture, it kind of changes things a little bit. You can do the normal color correction, but it's really nice to be able to go off of natural human skin tones to pick your color to remove the color cast. So here we have two of my kiddos here in the kitchen. Um, never mind the baby bottle, the wine, the child in the dirty sink. Forget all that, let's just focus on the colors, shall we? 
So I have a definite yellow cast to this whole photo. It was taken inside under artificial light and it just kind of looks yellow and dingy and yuck. So I want to change this and the nice thing is since I have people in this picture I can use a special tool. First I'm going to make sure that I go ahead and duplicate this layer by right clicking and renaming it. Select that new layer and then I'm going to go back up top to the enhance and then adjust color and a little bit further down I can adjust color for skin tone and a little dialog box pops up that will give you specific instructions and once again make sure the preview button is on. So now when I have my eyedropper tool instead of going for an area that's gray which you could do but it's kind of going to mess things up what you want to do is pick somebody's skin tone. Actually I think that is just about how I like it. Basically you will click around on people's skin in the picture and we're just trying to remove in this case that yellow jaundice kind of look. I want my babies to look healthy. There's some other things that you can do here like adjust the amount of tan in the skin, adjust the amount of blush which would obviously give my kids a little bit rosier cheeks. Um, I'm gonna leave that where it is. You can experiment with that if you want to. And then you can turn the color temperature of the whole photo up or down as well, making it a little bit cooler or a little bit warmer. I don't want to go in this case warmer because that's going to give, well, I'll show you. It's going to give everybody that yellow look once again. I want to get away from that. Maybe I might just go a little bit to the left this time. And here I have a new color temperature. We're at just a little bit cooler than what it was before. And this, while it's not a good photo, actually has better color tones in it. So I'm going to push OK and accept those changes. And now, once again, I can go to this new layer that I had created, color correction, and I can toggle it on and off to see the before with all the yellow and the after, which looks a lot better. And now I can take the edits further if I want to. So this is just the basic color correction fix and in the next video we'll be working on fine-tuning the levels in your photographs. So in today's lesson we've learned how to perform correction of color cast in your photos both on normal photos and in photos that have human skin tones in them. So today's assignment is for you to find a photo with a color cast. You saw that I did one with a blue and one with kind of a yellow color cast. Anything where it just looks like all the color is a little bit off. And then use the remove color cast function to correct it. And then upload your before and after photos of what you accomplished to our Flickr group. Don't forget to save a copy of your photo before you start editing it and also create a new layer before you start editing it. That way you'll make sure that you can step backwards and get at the original image if you ever needed to go back and just work with the original file. So that's it for today. Next time we're going to adjust levels in your photos and really make them pop. I'm Jenny. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next lesson.